Hello, hello, this is Koi from Array of Gratitude, aka Light Bright here in the building, shedding light on creativity, um, healing, and really trusting that intuitive nudges. You know, we all have intuition, but sometimes we have to really build our intuition and strengthen our intuition to really deeply trust ourselves and the nudges that we get within our spirit team and our spirit crew. And if you're not familiar with those terminology, please stick around because I will be talking more about that and definitely um, talking more about how creativity is very synonymous to your own spirit and your own soul. And I love helping people um, with their creativity and expanding that and helping them remove blocks that are hindering them and, um, you know, not allowing them to grow or meet their goals of what they're trying to do. And I love to help you by strengthening your trust with your intuition. So if you guys don't know me already, that's what I do. But if, you know, if you're, if you're a subscriber here, Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is just a mantra message here. A mini message just to give you guys up, um, you know, encouragement and just some, some motivation and inspiration to wherever you're at. If you fell on this message, this message more than likely is for you. You know, if it doesn't resonate, I'll look through the other messages and just see what your spirit might find you. Or maybe, should I say, your intuition might find you. Let's get into the message. I also create cards, y'all. Um, I do one-on-ones and I do take personal messages right now. They are open. So if you want a personal card reading, definitely click the links below. Um, but right now, this is a general message. And let's see what we have. What is the message that we want to tell you right now? very first card deck and I am so excited I just created two new card decks which you will be seeing very soon very soon okay <laughs> so um anywho let's start with this let's just start like I know y'all see this I remember when I first made this before I actually made these cards I made um I made uh, paintings on canvases and I put these words on the canvases and this is how the cards got created. Let me just show y'all one for a second. This is one of them that I, this is like one of the OGs. <laughs> one of my cards do have this background, but they don't have this. Um, yeah, they don't have those words, but I just wanted to show y'all that because that's where it all started. And it's reminding me of someone that bought, um, one of my paintings that said this they were cracking up but it's so true like the first step to change is becoming aware of your bullshit your bs you know when will you smell your own shit you know it kind of reminds me of babies sometimes you have some babies that don't like that feeling on their ass <laughs> and they're like take this diaper off i want a potty train and then you have some babies that are just like, I don't mind this warmness and I really don't care, you know? I don't know if that happens with people, you know, until adulthood, if that, that type of personality kind of shines through until adulthood, I really don't know. But I'm not even sure why I'm thinking of the babies. But <laughs> as an adult, we do have responsibility. We should take responsibility to handle our shit you know because at the end of the day i believe that we are here to evolve and here to spread our wings we are here to grow you know as a person as a human as a collective and as a soul and if we're not doing taking the growth like we physically grow but our mind needs to grow as well as our heart needs to grow you know a sound mind a sound heart equals a sound body and sound soul. And um, you can't have that sound or groundedness or appreciation or balance or alignment without recognizing your BS. Um, we're not saying that you have to figure out everything. Not all at once. But when you can become aware, that's when... There's a time to decide, 
do you want to make that change? And if you want to, being open is the first the first step to that, okay? So I'm going to put that here. Okay. So we got lack of boundaries invites lack of uh, respect. So I'm, I'm diving a little bit deeper into the message for anyone that this may resonate. A lack of boundaries invites a lack of respect. So for some of you viewers here, um, you know, that might be your bullshit you need to own. You know, you may be trying to level up, let's say, or you may be trying to, um, you know, finish a project, set a goal and actually um, make your mark, right? But you can't seem to find it, right? And then you start possibly blaming other people, right? But it isn't until you become aware of your bullshit that you're like, hmm, maybe I need to start saying no. Maybe I need to start telling people like, hey, hit me when, uh, you know, after four or something. You know what I mean? Maybe I need to put my phone down. There's multiple types of boundaries that you can set, especially within relationships that you have with other people. Um, you know, boundaries are, are like office hours, honestly. Um, if a, unless the business is 24, 24 hours, um, people are just going to bust right in, you know, but if you have office hours there, then people know when to show up and come in and people know when to like leave, you know? And sometimes it's reminding me when my mom, when I was little, when we would be in shop, like in the shopping um mall or whatever, like she just, it closed at nine. You know what I mean? Sometimes she would go to the store that was like 8.50 or sometimes she just was there for so long and it's like the store gives you that, um, last call to to bring your clothes you know and it's like ma they're closing like what are you doing type of thing sometimes people just don't recognize or respect people's boundaries too and that's the thing here when people when you do set those um boundaries and people don't want to respect it that's something that you need to take into consideration because nine times out of ten those people are habitual bound um boundary oversteppers <laughs> and they don't really care they just care about what they want you know and sometimes people I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt sometimes people are in shock right that you're actually stepping up and telling them like hey this is not cool and they're trying to find you know trying to adjust to that because there's they have become so dependent on you for some which way reason but um after a while, if they still don't, like, respect those boundaries, you can see what type of person they are, you know? And then this here, anything you can't control is teaching you to let go. And, um, you know, sometimes hard lessons just, what is it, old habits die hard, you know? Um, sometimes we are the people that are trying to overstep people's boundaries and people haven't even stated their boundaries but they're putting up a wall you know um figuratively and not allowing you to help right and sometimes people try to help and they didn't ask for that help you know and you need to come to terms that hey no matter how much you may see that xyz is best for the person it really hurts when you really love someone because these are these tough lessons, right? But if you can't really control the situation or if you can't really try to, like some people have good intentions, you know, of trying to change the situation. They're not necessarily trying to change the person, but they're trying to um, change the perspective, Um and, and show someone like, hey, look this way for a second. Just, I just want you to look this way. I have a good feeling that this would really help. But you're, you're not looking this way, you know. And sometimes we got to let that go. And we wind up learning that, hey, wow, this actually changed me, you know. 
same thing for like maybe job situations, you know, like you really want your job to see your value and X, Y, Z, blah, 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 probably want the validation, but you can't change that, right? And many times when that aha moment of awareness sets in, it's like, dang, okay, well, I'm choosing me, I'm choosing what I know, and I'm going to go with that. And that moment was a moment that changed you, that changed your life and allowed you to see your shit, right? Of course, see other people's stuff, but see your shit, how to act in the moment, you know? And shit doesn't always have to be bad, right? But shit is shit. (laughs) So you have to understand like, hmm, I don't need this shit anymore. You know what I mean? (laughs) I'm getting carried away. So, um, you know, sometimes we just need to really understand how to let go because i know a lot of times people be like well how do i let go i don't know well these things are teaching you to let go and teaching you to trust you know there's a saying let go and let god um sometimes you have to let go of your own control let go of your own vision that you feel that you see it fit and say you know what i don't know everything and i clearly don't have any What's another word? Not any control, but you don't have any um, influence on this anymore. So you just really need to just (sighs) let go, you know, because sometimes again, like I I love to, I'm always going to share this when we're grabbing on too tight. And I'm sharing this because I have constantly had to be reminded of this, my daggone self. We're holding on too tight. How can we open up for anything else that we're asking for? So that is my message for today, you all. I hope that this resonates with you wherever you are in your journey, in whatever journey you're at. Um, And I hope that you recognize that you are the shit. And as soon as you let that old shit go, you become the new shit. (laughs) I had to say it, y'all. I just had to. Um, If you're looking for, you know, some more help, though, that can help you expand your creativity, that can help you really appreciate your creativity and honor your God-given gifts, or just really explore your uniqueness and get back to feeling and honoring yourself, please check out my one-on-one coaching services. I start, I have 10-week coaching um, services that really help you understand your own process, um, that help you highlight what um, your your best assets are when it comes to creativity, when it comes to your spirit. And um, we work on a process together. I have two that allow you to work through your own affirmations and create your own affirmation card deck through your process and through your goal, right, that you can use for your soul care practices, which clearly watching this will help you and inspire you to do so. And I have some that are just plain and simple that we create our own process, our own ritual, and our own goals around your creative spirit and where you're at in your journey. And I help assist you with that. If you're looking for a personal reading, I give personal readings. Um, You can check out the type of um, readings I have. I have a custom reading where you can ask whichever question you'd like. Or I have a soul care reading, which dives deeper into the soul and the chakras and the um, care that you need to give and soul nourishment that you need to give yourself that can work on bringing yourself into alignment with um, the things you're trying, where you're trying to go and, and how to do so and stay inspired by doing that. So again, check out the links below. And if you're feeling the vibe, (laughs) please subscribe. There's plenty more messages where these come from. And until next time, I'm out of y'all. Peace.